Welcome back everyone, my name is Devin Reddy and in this video we'll talk about Python. But hold on, we have talked about Python before, right? In fact, we have the entire series on Python. Now if you see the title, title says Python at Netflix. In fact, few days back I was talking to one of my friends and then we were discussing about different programming languages which is impacting the industry now. Then we were talking about some controversial topic which is Java versus Python. In the debate, I was giving more preference to Java and this guy was giving more preference to Python. And in the morning, I received a message from him. It was actually a link from Medium. So on, the, on Medium, Netflix technology has published a post which is Python at Netflix. So how Netflix uses Python. In fact, they claim they use Python from start to end. In fact, we all know about Netflix, right? It's a video streaming service. So what we do, so we just go to Netflix and we search for the catalog, we search for the movie. The moment, the moment you select the movie, you can watch the entire movie. Of course, you have to pay for it. But then when you talk about Netflix, we have two things there, two important things. One is the application and second is actually the video. In fact, when you go to Netflix, we want to watch a video, but then one of the reasons why Netflix is, Netflix is awesome is not just because they have huge amount of videos, it's also about the way they handle the user experience. The moment you go there, you can see the amazing animation, the way they recommend videos, right? In fact, you can create the account, you can keep your account on hold, you can see which movies you have watched before. In fact, I love the part of recommendation. So if you, type, if you see one type of movie, they will recommend you based on that, not just one parameter. They have various parameters on which they will recommend you movies. So all this thing in the application is done using Python. And that's amazing, right? See the part of Python there. Most of the services on Netflix, the application I'm talking about works on Python. But what about the video part? Example, let's say if you are using a Netflix app, the moment you go there, it will request to the server, right? And the actual service of Netflix has been hosted on AWS. So you're actually interacting with AWS. But the moment you select a particular movie to watch, this is not actually coming from AWS. They have a different network, which is CDN, which is Content Delivery Network. And they have, it, they have special one, which is the Open Connect. So the video which you will be receiving is you will be receiving that from Open Connect. So basically they have near to your location so that you don't have to wait much. That is good for both the end, for user the end and for Netflix as well. And all this management of that CDN, the software, the, the way they design, everything is designed with the help of Python. So it is so powerful, not just for the application, but, but for CDN handling also they use Python. What about security? For security, for the information security, your account security has been maintained with some tools which are built using Python there. Now, one thing which is amazing about Netflix, they don't just use Python, they also contribute to the open source community. So you, you can just go to Google and search for Netflix open source tools. They have amazing tools available. In fact, when I was working on Java, I was using them and now in Python also they have it. One of the reasons why people got excited about Python is because of machine learning, right? In fact, if you want to go into machine learning, you have to work on Python. Same thing happens with Netflix. So Netflix has their own models and they train those models, the machine learning models with the help of Python. So we have different tools available, right? Like we have TensorFlow, so that can be handled with Python. In fact, I got so excited reading that article, I thought let's make a video, but instead of making the entire content as a video, I thought let's give, let me just give you some bits and pieces so that you can read the entire article by yourself. So in the description area, you will find a link where you can just go to that uh, page and read the entire stuff. Do some more research because they have not mentioned everything there. They have mentioned some names. Just go to Google and search for those names. That's how you can improve yourself in Python. In fact, I have received a lot of mails and messages regarding what after learning Python, this is what you can do. So once you have learned the basics of Python, improve on these tools, okay? So if Netflix uses all these tools, it will be helpful for your project as well. In fact, we are working on Django series as well, so you can watch them. So do read the article and let me know your thoughts on the impactness of Python in the world now. So that's it from this video. I hope you're enjoying it. And if you have not seen my Python series before, just check the description here. We have a Python series link as well. So that's it everyone. Bye-bye.